absolute extrema, that means both absolute maximum and absolute minimum, it is in the domain of the function f, and all x in the domain we have f x less than greater to the function at c, then f of c is called the absolute maximum of the f. Then the other case, if f of x is greater than or equal to f at c, then the f at c is called the absolute minimum of the function f. The theorem of absolute extrema of a continuous function, if the function f is continuous on a closed interval a, b, then f will have an absolute maximum value and absolute minimum values on the closed interval a, b. The procedure to find the absolute max, absolute min, or the absolute extrema on the closed interval as follows. Step number one, we can find all critical values on the open interval a, b. The, um, <clears throat> Next, we look at the procedure to find the absolute extrema of the continuous function on the closed interval a, b. Step number one. We're going to find our critical values. Two cases that we can obtain the critical value would be from the first case, what find the derivative and look at the C that make the F prime to be zero, or the case that we look for the C that make the F prime undefined. The techniques for this is if you find the derivative in the fraction form or the rational form, if you can simplify the expression into one single fraction, the numerator on the top, denominator on the bottom, the numerator equals zero, going to be the case that the f prime equals zero. The denominator zero is going to be the case of the f prime undefined. So this is the technique to derive the two cases of the critical value. After step one, step two, we're going to evaluate the function value at the left end point, the right end point, and the function value at all critical value c that we obtained from step one. And the last step, we're going to take the largest value to be the absolute maximum, and the smallest value going to be the absolute minimum. Let's look at the example. For this example, we are going to find the absolute extrema for the function f of x equals 2 to the third minus 15x squared plus 24x plus 6 on the closed interval 0, 5. Let's identify this as a equals 0 and b equals 5 as the left end and the right end of the interval that we look for the absolute max, absolute min. Step number one, we're going to find the critical value by finding the derivative f prime equals 6x squared minus 30x plus 24. This is a polynomial which is continuous everywhere. So we consider the case that obtained the critical value from f prime equals 0. We do not have to worry about the other case, which is the case of the f prime is undefined. So it's not going to be applied to the polynomial type of the function. So from the expression 6x squared minus 30x plus 24, we're going to find the critical value by looking for the x that make a prime to be 0. First, we are going to factor completely. Let's factor the 6 out. It will be 6 times x squared minus 5x plus 4 equals 0. Factor more, we have x minus 4 times x minus 1 equals 0. As the product is positive 4, the sum is negative 5. Then we can identify the critical values at x equals 4 and x equals 1. Let's see. In a and b, we can take with the real number line here. The left end is 0, the right end is 5. Where is 4? 
or is still within the interval and one is still the interval. So we keep both of them as the critical values. So we have C1 and C2 are two critical values for this problem. Next step, we are going to evaluate the function value. So step number two, we're going to find a function value at the left end, at the right end, at each critical value, which is at one and at four. Now to compute the, the function value, just use the given function provided by the problem, which means when we are, whenever you see zero, you plug it in in the zero there. So two times zero to the third minus 15 times zero to the second plus 24 times zero plus six. That's simply coming out at the value six. And then the five is the same thing. So two times five to the third minus 15 times five to the second plus 24 times five plus six. We derive the number one as a function value at five. At one, two times one to the third minus 15 times one to the second plus 24 times one plus six. And we derive the value 17. The last one, function at 4, so 2 times 4 to the 3rd, minus 15 times 4 to the 2nd, plus 24 times 4, and then plus 6, equals negative 10. The last step, we are going to take the largest, the greatest value, or the largest quantity, which is 17. This is the largest. And what is the lowest or the smallest? So the largest is the absolute maximum and the smallest is the absolute minimum value for this case. So we just rewrite it as a summary on the bottom there. So the absolute maximum value, which is a function value is 17, which is a function at 1. And the other one, the absolute minimum value is the value negative 10 or the function at 4 as a result for this problem.